Okay, problem 8. A pump shown draws water from a 200 mm diameter pipe and discharges through a 150 mm diameter pipe in which the velocity is 3.66 meters per second. The pressure is negative 34.45 kilopascals at A in the suction pipe. The 150 mm diameter pipe discharges horizontally into air at C and it is known that the frictional loss in the pipe between A and C is 3.05 meters. What is the mean velocity of water at A? What is the pumping head in meters? To what height H above B can the water be raised if B is 1.8 meters above A and 20 horsepower is delivered to the pump and it operates at 70% efficiency? So this is the given situation figure. So first for 8.1, we apply continuity equation QA equals QC. So pi over 4 times 0.2 square times velocity at A equals pi over 4 times 0.15 square velocity at C, which is given 3.66. So from there, we can compute the mean velocity of flow at A equal to, this is the suction line, 2.059 meters per second. What is the pumping head? So since the given input power is 20 horsepower, remember it is a pump, so the pump operates with an efficiency, with an output power of efficiency times 20 horsepower. And it is equal to weight flow rate Q times gamma of water head, pumping head divided by 746. If we express Q in cubic meter per second, gamma in newtons per cubic meter, and of course pumping head meters. So 0.7 times 20 horsepower equals pi over 4.15 square times 3.66. I use the original information. 9,810 newtons per cubic meter for specific weight of water. Pumping head divided by 746. One horsepower, 746 watts. So head pumping head is equal to 16.46 meters. Then for the last question, to what height H above B can the water be raised if B is 1.8 meters above A? So that would be writing energy equation between A and C because we know everything about energy uh, items at A and C except for this H here. So we select uh, datum through A as the arbitrary datum so this is given 1.8 meters so we write energy equation right energy equation between a and c considering head loss from a to c which is 3.05 so we have velocity head at a pressure head at a plus elevation head at a plus pumping head equals velocity head at c pressure head at c plus elevation head at c plus head loss from A to C. So velocity head at A is 2.059 square over 19.62 plus negative 34.45 over 9.81 plus 0 plus 16.46 equals 3.66 square over 19.62 plus 0 because it is exposed to the atmosphere. G sub C is 1.8 plus H then plus head loss 3.05. So in this Equation on the H is the unknown here, and we can solve for H. H is equal to 7.632 meters. So that's it for this problem.